This is the all new 2014 Kia Sorento. Some of you might or might not know that this is the cousin to the Hyundai Santa Fe, which came a little bit earlier and has gone on to win awards. It's the same platform underneath. Kia runs away and they turn it into their Sorento. Now there are some differences between them. This vehicle is one of the biggest of the compact to intermediate crossovers and it's sold with five seats and the option to get seven seats inside. Hyundai's gone a different way. Their Santa Fe comes with five seats. If you want seven seats, you've got to get the bigger one, the XL, with the long wheelbase that's coming out. The other big difference is the premium motor in the Santa Fe is a turbocharged four-cylinder that has a lot of power. Kia has gone a different way. Their premium engine is a V6, a new 3.3 liter with 290 horsepower. They believe that it has towing capacity and when the vehicle is under load, it's gonna get better average fuel economy than when you strain a smaller turbocharged four cylinder engine. So we're here in Arizona getting to drive it and find out what this vehicle's all about. Kia has been a huge success in Canada. Now the base motor in this Sorento is a 2.4 liter four cylinder that's carried over from the previous model. It's been around for a while and it pumps out 191 horsepower. Now the premium motor, as I mentioned, is a V6, it's brand new, 3.3 liters, direct injection technology, and for your money, you get an extra 100 horsepower. Well, almost 100, it's actually 99 horsepower. Torque is good at 252 foot pounds, but this vehicle has more horsepower than the Santa Fe with the turbocharged four cylinder. That's 264, I believe, off the top of my head. But uh, you know what? This is an excellent motor. It's so smooth and refined. It, we've been cruising here in Arizona on the uh, highways doing, you know, 80 miles an hour, passing with no problem at all. So I can see the attraction. I can see the thinking behind doing a V6. It's what people are used to in SUVs and they're not going the new route of turbocharged four cylinder. They're sticking with what's worked in the past and you know, it's not such a bad idea. Yeah. All right, the steering is adjustable. It's got the flex steering. You have a button here. You can adjust it from softer to sporty to uh, normal, and it uh, doesn't really do anything other than make the steering feel a little bit heavy. It doesn't adjust any kind of ratios or anything like that, and that's just something that you can use if you like the steering heavier or lighter. Basically, that's it. On center, it's a bit dead. It's a complaint of Hyundai products and Kia products in the past. This one is really no different, but you do adjust after a while. Sensible buyers realize that these products come stuffed with features most other car companies charge more for. In the case of the Sorento, the base L X features Bluetooth, keyless entry, air conditioning, auxiliary input and heated front seats as standard equipment. The walk up to the middle EX includes heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, memory seats and leather and Kia's voice activated system called Uvo plus a backup camera. The top model seen here showcases a power lift gate, navigation and more. Now the compact crossover segment is the fastest growing in Canada. There's so many new offerings and people are moving out of cars and into these. They kind of replace the old fashioned station wagon we had decades and decades ago. The trend in this segment is to go to smaller turbocharged engines or just straight four cylinders. So the fact that the Sorento was stuck with a V6 as their premium engine kind of sets this vehicle apart. It's one of the biggest in this class. So if you're somebody that's looking for space and you want the pace of a V6, this Sorento is worth a look.